Hello and welcome to day 86 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Today we're going to be talking about love and we've spoke a lot in this 86 days about uh, loving kindness and be love and give love and and offer love and, and do all these things for love and I think it's important as well to think about how how do we cultivate love. I spoke to you yesterday about um, how June the 12th is a very special day for me and that is the day of my birth my dad's birthday and he's passed away and you know there's a long story in there but you know he died when I was 35 and it wasn't until I got to about 40 and I had a real period in my life where I couldn't feel happy I couldn't feel sad I, I was complete I was complete flatlining I was complete unemotional and and it was horrible because I couldn't look forward to things I couldn't get excited by things things just seemed to to just be and it was it was wasn't very nice because I didn't have you know excitement or 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 even sadness you know it was I just had this grief the grief consumed everything and <clears throat> it wasn't until really I started to think about things and I went away on a on a retreat for my for my 40th birthday that things really changed me. So for seven years now I've been, it's changed, it changed a lot. Mindfulness was a lot to do with that. It allowed me to reconnect with myself. But the big thing that, that I think why the grief consumed me is I'd lost love. And I'd lost love because a huge part of my life and my love was my dad. And when that went away, it, it seemed to take it away with it. And it wasn't until I started mindfulness and connected back into myself and started to give myself that loving kindness and, and be love. And I didn't have the be love, give love until about two years ago when Ronnie came to me and I asked him, you know, what, what's all this about? And he, that's what he said. Um, but I found love in, in myself. And love is, for me, for, for large periods of my life, was, was just a shallow expression in many cases. Oh, I'd love to do that. Oh, I love this. Oh, I really love, oh, do you know what? I could, I'd love a McDonald's now. I'm not getting paid for that advert, by the way. Um, I did watch McMillions. If you haven't watched it, it's a brand fantastic doc documentary on HBO about how people defrauded McDonald's for millions. It's a very good program. So, so that's something you may want to watch. But anyway, coming back to it. Um, you know, we use that word love in, in so many different ways. And and when you actually get to fully understand and feel love, it really epitomizes everything that you do. So even though when I get things wrong, and I do get things wrong, and, and, and you know, where I'm human, everybody knows, though, that my starting point was from a starting place of love. And even when I get angry or I get upset, it's because I really love and care not because I'm doing it for ego or to, to massage my, my materialistic things or to strive to earn more money to, to, you know, all of those. No, mine comes from love. So how do we cultivate love? How do we feel love? And how do we be love and give love? Well, for me, it was all about sitting in that space, but opening those chambers of your heart and allowing the stale repressed things that have hurt you over the years to accept and forgive and let go and to create a space then when those things have moved on to really fill those chambers of your heart with real divine love love for yourself love for everything around you um and it's amazing when it happens and you find yourself then just you know watching things and crying you know it, it's some of the most beautiful things in the world now and I and I appreciate everything and it, 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 it's weird I can look at flowers now and just look at the beauty and that's because it starts from that that underlying strand of of what is love and love is everything so we're going to do a love meditation today I'm sure you're going to love it hopefully so as always close your eyes take your seat and just breathe in a deep breath and breathe out and just check in with yourself. And this time there's no surprise that we're just gonna bring our awareness straight away and our breath straight away to our heart. 
And as we do it, we feel a big weight's lifted off our shoulders. As we connect in and we start to feel what is around our heart. And we start to feel the love. And you take a deep breath in and as you do, just become more and more relaxed. And I want you just to sit and breathe with your heart now for a few moments. Just breathing in and breathing out. And if anything comes in or anything rises, accept it, acknowledge it, and just come back to your heart, breathing through your heart. Moment by moment, breath by breath. And every time you're breathing, you're just breathing this beautiful, calming love energy. And every time you breathe out, you breathe out beautiful love and relaxation. Breathing in calm, breathing out relaxation. Now I want you just to bring to your awareness that you can physically see and feel the energy of your heart radiating out from your chest to about six inches in front of you. And here are all the beautiful chambers of your heart. And as you look at your heart, on the left hand side, you can feel some energies and, and visions of things that have upset you, that have made you come in yourself, retract to wilt a little. And as you look at those, you just hold them there with a loving kindness and those memories and those shadows and some traumas. And as you look at them, we take a deep breath in and they just leave your heart energy and just drift off in front of you. And as they do, they just slowly fade away. And when you look on the right hand side of your heart, you open up all of the things in your life that you love, that you've loved, and that you'd like to love. And as you breathe in, you just bring your awareness to that and you feel that there's such a, a bigger and deeper energy. An energy that is so pure and light and loving. And what I want you to do now is just expand that energy, expand that feeling, expand that love. So all of a sudden, not only does it encompass the whole of your heart energy, that feeling of love and happiness absolutely engulfs and encompasses every part of your body. And you're surrounded in this beautiful, glowing, vibrant light that is made of pure divine love. Love for yourself, love for others, and love for the divine. And sit with this beautiful energy of love all around you. And as it does, you feel the chambers of your heart just releasing any shadows or any negative energy or any thoughts or traumas. You don't attach to them. You just take a deep breath in and you open your heart and let go of any of those things that no longer serves you, that have upset you, and you accept, you forgive, and you let go. And as they go, they get replaced with beautiful spiritual love energy that replenishes, that heals, that lights up those beautiful chambers within your heart so that your heart is absolutely bouncing with love. It's over spilling with an energy that makes you heal, makes you love, and makes you feel as if you really are on top of the world, filled with love all around you. And now I just want you to bring to your awareness that you move this energy back inside your chest, into your heart, with all of your heart's cavities and all full of light, full of divine light, healing, rejuvenation, and love. Take a deep breath in. And you take a deep breath out. And as you do, you feel so loved. A beautiful warm energy of love surrounds you. From those people who have passed, they come close. 
For those people around you, you connect to their energy. And for the nature, Mother Gaia, and everything else that is with you, you give it unconditional love for you and for them. Be love and give love. And when you're ready, slowly wiggle your fingers, open your eyes and come back into the room. I hope you loved it. I loved it. There's lots of love in there. So day 66 is all about love. Uh, sorry, 86. Wow, lost 20 days then. It's all about love. And I love doing this for you. And I'm sure we'll get to day 100. And we can look back and say, I followed that. I was disciplined. And we keep going. And we keep loving. And we keep moving. God bless you. Have a lovely day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, Julian. I love you. Thank you, Julian. I love you. Bye-bye.